Hey so, guys, welcome back. Uh, time to talk about this puppy here. I uh, after I got home from work yesterday, and that Calvin Klein dupe had worn off, I uh, had a shave, and I told you I'd put this on and come back and talk about it. <clears throat> Man, nostalgia in a bottle, honestly. Uh, so this review is probably going to be full of nostalgia. It'll be a lot of talking, a lot of rambling. Might be super long. Sorry. Nah, not sorry. I don't care. I want to talk about it. And we're going to talk about it. Gillette Wild Rain. For those of you who don't know, you're just catching on. This shit is super expensive online. Especially old ass bottles like this. This is a 94 bottle, I believe it was. Inspired in 97. <laughs> no. Um. Yeah. Junior high prom, this, around that time, that junior high prom in summer, this and uh, Cool Water Wave were my two cents, right? They they really got me in, really into fragrances. They were my first two that I really bought multiple bottles of, you know what I mean? So, <clears throat> and then I moved on pretty quick, like I said, to Fahrenheit, blah, 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 you know, but, and I don't know when this was discontinued, so... But I don't think it was too much longer after after the 90s, maybe even a little into it. But uh, just, oh my God, does it ever smell like fucking memories? I uh, wrote a bunch of shit down, so deal with it. I know some of you just hate when you people write stuff and you're reading, but I have to. <laughs> so 94 is what I found. Uh but according to Gillette and the thing on the back here, 93. So pick your poison, 93, 94. Um, it's an aftershave, so uh, I splashed it on after it was done shaving. But I also put a little bit in one of these so I could spray my shirt. One of my empty little testers. And uh, yeah, so that's how I applied it. <clears throat> Performance, now I don't know if it's because it's Stuff was stronger, you know, 30 years ago. God damn. Uh, or if it's because it sat in somebody's dresser or closet or shelf or whatever for 30 years. But this performed, you know, for an aftershave adequately. Like, about five hours. And that's pretty good for an aftershave with, with you know, technically about six and a half or seven, really, because it's a very light skin scent for a couple hours. You could get away with it. But honestly, about five hours. <clears throat> uh, projection, really good. An aftershave, really good for a solid, for 15, 20 minutes. It's almost beast. The alcohol is just pumping off, right? Pushing out the oils. Uh, and after that, for about a half hour, 40 minutes, it's about an arm's length in there. Then it comes in, gives you a soft bubble for a couple hours. Then it's a skin scent for an hour. Then it's gone. <clears throat> so, yeah. I loved every damn minute of it, too. Every damn minute of it. I reapplied after like four and a half, five hours. I reapplied it. And uh, right before I went to bed and just... I know I fell asleep with a smile on my face. It was... I love fragrances, but I love nostalgia fragrances even more. And this is super nostalgic for me. And it was, I was so happy. As you can tell just from my voice and my actions, I'm super excited to own this. A uh, couple people asked me to sell it to them. No, sorry, not going to happen. I don't care. I don't care if you offer me a thousand dollars for it. I'm keeping that some bitch. It's mine, man. <laughs> so, uh, so anyway, let's get into the technicalities and stuff. Definitely, what do you get when you put this on? Right away, definitely, you are hit with that classic perfumer alcohol from an aftershave. It is prominent, like in almost every aftershave, but it's only there for a couple minutes. Pretty soon, you pick up on an, and I couldn't find any notes on this. I didn't look hard. I'm just going to give you what I can't, what I smell and what I think it is. Could be 100% wrong. Could be 100% right. Probably a mix of both. Um, you pick up a nice, clean green, like a soft pine and definitely some eucalyptus. It definitely has that cooling aspect. Uh, but it's not mint. It's not 
peppermint it's not spearmint it's it's you it's not menthol but it's more menthol than it's like a green menthol so eucalyptus kind of vibe um right behind that's this soapy powdery clean lavender with some soft spice you pick up a little bit of cumin um a little bit of peppery wood so i'm guessing cedar and it's just yeah mm. And that's all on top of a base of a musk. And believe it or not, vanilla. There's a very soft, very underlying vanilla sweetness. It never comes to the front. It's always in the background. But if it wasn't there, this wouldn't be the fragrance it is. It's really combining it all together <laughs> with that soft vanilla sweetness. And it's just, it's a gorgeous scent. It's a gorgeous scent. Um... It's definitely a green, spicy fougere, though, uh, but not a barbershop. You know, this isn't a Zyro Pour Homme. Don't think a green a Zyro Pour Homme. You know, it's lacking a lot of the woods and the leathers and the, the heavier spices. It's just a fougere because of that lavender and the, it's green because of the green aspects to it. Um, so more like a, a fougere and the... the the clean powdery lavender and stuff. And there's an aquatic vibe to this. Not aquatic, more watery, uh, fresh water, not salty seawater, more of a fresh water, kind of like almost like there is an aspen, this fresh, clean, crisp, cool, watery vibe to it. Um, and I can't explain this, and this is me, this is some, if you grew up in the 90s, <clears throat> And we're wearing fragrances in the 90s. You know what I mean. And to those of you who don't, who didn't, uh, you might think, what the hell is he talking about? And I say it all the time. I can't explain it any better than I'm going to. You just had to be there. And this has that 90s uh, smell, vibe, feeling, whatever you want to call it to it. Uh, it's like if, if most people who grew up in the 90s especially teenagers, um, if you got them to smell something from the 90s, they would immediately be able to tell it's from the 90s simply because of that vibe. Um, there was a, a big push on, I don't know if it's certain accords or whatever, probably, but where you smell it, you're like, that smells like the 90s. You know, in the 90s, a lot of, and it was a lot of the cheaper fragrances too because a lot of us couldn't afford Dior, right? So you, you, a lot of your stuff from, Cody, Gillette, Adidas, um, Cool Water, uh, I say Cody with the Aspen and, and the Gravity even has it, uh, there's, there's this something that's just instantly recognizable by 90s kids and 90s teens and this has that in spades. You, you, I could get somebody, you know, between the ages of 35 and 50, basically, to put this on, and they will smell and say, oh, that smells like the 90s. You know, it's the way it is. And I wish I could explain it to the people who weren't there, but to those of you who were there, and comment, let me know if, if you think I'm telling, I, I'm telling fibs or telling the truth, because... You can spray or put on any one of those fragrances I mentioned and not knowing what it is and you'd be like, oh my God, that smells like the 90s. You put on Aspen, you're getting the 90s. Cool Water, the 90s. CK1, the 90s. Uh, this, the 90s. You know, it just Adidas moves, the 90s. I mean, they, they smelled like the 90s. Um, and I wish I could explain it better, but I can't, guys. I can't. Um, so at the end of the day, really, what is it? It's a clean, soapy, green, fresh, crisp scent. Um, if I could get poetic for a minute, let me explain what I close my eyes. And this is kind of what I feel. And it's a very poetic way of saying what I just said. It's clean, crisp, and fresh, and green. But, Okay. It's like going out on a late summer or early autumn morning where there's this cool breeze in the air, dew on the trees and grass, 
The last of the season flowers are blooming, trying to defy the seasons and time. There's a wet, crisp feeling in the air as it blows summer's last hurrah across your nose. You smell the evergreens taking over from the maples and oaks. And you can feel the autumn in the air. It's green. It's, the air is moist and it's green. There's some florals, like I said, still trying to hold on. And it's crisp and it's clean. There's no cars. There's no sounds. No nothing. Just you and nature. And it's... I know it sounds funny to say that from a fragrance, especially a cheap aftershave from the 90s, but part of that is nostalgia. Of course, I will admit 100%. And if you didn't grow up in the 90s, <clears throat> and you don't, or you don't have an, or you have no affiliation with the 90s fragrances, or you have no affection for them, or no longing for them, you're probably not going to like this. This is going to be something, and again, unless you, like I said, have a, a love of, classic old school fragrances you don't have to be an old man like me you be 15 and love old school fragrances it's nothing wrong with that uh and if you are god bless you son you are keeping this shit alive uh or lady could be a lady too hey but uh yeah that's kind of my poetic take on it it's you know and I could give you memories of it, but they're, they're all mixed together with Cool Wave and other things I wore. But I do remember putting this on, going to see uh, <clears throat> Oh, I forget the, maybe was it, was it Dumb and Dumber? I think it was Dumb and Dumber. I could be wrong. Might have been Hideaway. And it doesn't matter. We went and seen a movie with my girlfriend, my high school girlfriend at the time. And uh, I remember putting this on. And uh, when I went to pick her up, she goes, oh, I love the smell of when you just get out of the shower and you're just done shaving. You know, and I've said that before. Women love that. I talked about it in my out of the shower video. Women love that smell. Like... That soapy, clean smell, they do. And this has it in spades with a nice green, even mossy, somewhat mossy effect to it. And yeah. So I, I give it a try if you can, guys. Do not purchase a bottle for 80, 90, 100, 100, 200. I've seen it. The lowest I think I've seen it was 60 some dollars. And that's still too much for a bottle of this. <clears throat> but if you get lucky and you come across somebody who owns it, give it a try. If you're able to pick it up at a thrift store, like I, it does happen, like I did for f 4 or $5, pick it up. I mean, if you don't like it at that price, you can sell it for and make, make some coin, right? But just give it a try if you can. I wish everybody could try it. I wish I could magically have a thousand bottles and give it all to you guys. But I can't. I'm not giving this one away. Mm-mm. Sorry, not even decants. Mm -mm, they mine. Mine. I, I'll bite you for it. Oh, my God. It makes me miss them carefree days. I know we thought we had it so stressful back then, 15, 16, 17 years old. You know, oh, my God, life is so hard. It was so much easier back then. And it makes me miss them carefree days. You know, them days where <clears throat> an hour seemed like it took 10 in a good way. Like, just now time goes by so fast and every day you're getting older. And yeah. All right, guys. Tell me if you have any nostalgia for this or one of your big nostalgia sense that does that for you, makes you yearn. For those carefree days. You know. Young love. Young stupidity. Young arrogance even. Young boldness. All that stuff. All the stuff you are when you're young. And you just 
for whatever reason, you learn or it gets beat out of you as you get older. All right, guys. Peace, love, be good to each other, and be good to yourselves. And enjoy some nostalgia, will you? Just enjoy it.